Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on the test automation obstacles, let's look at the next obstacle, which is called the get sues number. Now this particular obstacle is related to uh, XML file automation. So here, what we need to do is we need to download the XML file, which is attached here called catalog. And then uh, we need to manually uh, download and save it. And then uh, we need to read the file and extract the complete number, including prefix of this particular uh, ID or name uh, with Tosca, okay? And once we extract it, we need to uh, enter that into this particular text box. Okay, so if I go ahead and uh, click on this particular catalog link, it's going to download the file and uh, save it into my downloads folder. So once that is done, then we will see uh, what this particular file contains and uh, what do we need to extract and what we need to enter into this particular text box. Okay, so the file is downloaded and let's go and look at this downloads folder and you can see the catalog. Uh, this is an XML file. Now, if I open this, here you will see the different nodes and uh, everything is inside this catalog. Node inside this, we have got number, ID, uh, prefix, number, and uh, gener, right? And we have got a couple of records here. Out of this, uh, we need to look out for the ID which contains the name Sue. And then uh, inside this, we need to actually extract both prefix as well as the number, okay? Uh, and then you need to write this uh, together in that particular text box, okay? So if I copy this prefix and then I come here, okay? So that's one part of the number. And then the second part is uh, the number itself, okay? So once you write the whole number uh, along with the prefix, then this particular automation obstacle will be completed. And this we need to do using Tosca. Okay, so there are a couple of uh, parts in this particular obstacle, and we'll see how we can uh, complete this particular obstacle in Tosca. Okay, uh, so coming back to our Tosca workspace, uh, first, let's go ahead and create our modules. Now here, uh, there will be two different modules, okay? And uh, the reason is one of the modules will be related to the XML file because we will, uh, scan the XML file and create a module. And then the next module will be the application itself, which is the text box, okay? So here uh, I'm going to create a folder to uh, keep both these modules uh, inside this folder. And then I'm going to uh, rename the folder name with this obstacle number, okay? So come back here and we are going to rename this. Now inside this, uh, first of all, let's scan the XML file, okay? Now, XML file can be scanned using a different option. So you don't need to use the application option here. Uh, we need to go to more, and here we'll find the file scan, okay? So it can scan the XML file. So we select the file scan, then it will uh, come up with this dialog where we have to select the XML file. So we will select this and we'll click on open. Okay, so that will create uh, the module. Okay, so this is the module which contains the XML file and its contents. Now, the next module which uh, we have to scan is the application itself. So we will scan the application option this time and we will select uh, the Chrome browser here. And then here uh, we will select the text box. Okay, so that's all uh, which we required here. And then um, I'm going to call this um, the number text box. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to close this. I will save this. Okay, um, so this is the file and this is the text box. And then um, let's go ahead and create our test case now. So we will go to our obstacles and we will create our obstacles here. 
and then uh, we will drag both the modules right here okay so first we will uh, drag the catalog request and then uh, we will also drag our text box okay and then let's look at this test case okay so here we need to enter the number but first we need to extract the number okay uh, and even before that we need to also open the xml file because once it's open then only we'll be able to extract any particular node okay so for that we need to add another module here and that is called uh, open create xml file and this will be our first step so i will drag it right here we need to give it a resource name. So we'll call it the catalog. And then uh, we need to give the file path. So I will browse the file path and I will select it. And then uh, we can pass the same uh, catalog as the resource reference. So here uh, it will pass the reference after it's open. And then uh, we can go to the respective uh, node. Here we need to go into the ID okay and we know that uh, we are looking for a id with the name sue right and instead of verify i'm going to make it constraint so that uh, it will select that particular node right and then we require the prefix and the number so here i'm going to call this pre and i'm going to call this num and i'm going to buffer both of these values okay so once you buffer both of these values, then you have got those numbers. And now I can just use them here to enter this into the text box, okay? So I will uh, have two buffers here. First, uh, it will be the prefix, and then it will be the number, okay? So it will basically uh, concatenate both of these. It will enter one by one into the text box, okay? So this is all uh, we have to do in this particular obstacle. Uh, now let's go ahead and change the work state to completed. And now we are ready to run this particular test case. Okay, so let's run this and see if it is able to complete the automation on this particular text box. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it entered uh, both the prefix and the number into the text box and that completed the obstacle. So this is how you can use um, different modules related to the XML uh, to browse through or to go to a particular node and extract uh, the nodes. Uh, also, you can use uh, the scan feature to scan any particular XML file so that you automatically get all the nodes uh, in your module and then you can easily um, go through all the different nodes and extract uh, the required node or any particular child node uh, where you need that particular information and then uh, you need to enter that into your application. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.